Solving by proof. This is a very powerful method used in mathematics to solve questions of a high level of difficulty. In the previous lesson, we used this method when proving that the equation given was an identity. Proof is closely related to identities as in many cases, we have to confirm that a relationship is always true. To solve an exercise that requires proving that something is always true, we start from a known fact, then, step, by, step, we move towards the final solution, proof. Let's clarify this point through an example. Example 1. Prove that the sum of three consecutive integers is divisible by three. Solution 1. Let's express the smallest number by x. Thus, the next two numbers will be x plus 1 and x plus 2 respectively. Their sum s expressed in terms of x is shown in the following on screen. From the factorized form obtained in the last transformation. It is clear that one of the factors of the sum of three consecutive numbers is 3. Therefore, their sum will always be divisible by 3 regardless of the numbers taken into consideration. Solving by proof is widely applied in geometry as well. Let's consider an example where proof helps us find a relationship that is always true in geometry. Example 2 Prove that the sum of the measures m of interior angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees. For this, the following info is necessary. When a line intersects two other parallel lines, it produces eight angles in total that are 4 by 4 equal. Two of such equal angles known as alternate interior angles expressed in the figure as x and y, x equals y, are formed at the inner corners of the z, like symbol produced by the intersection of the three lines. We have the following shown on screen. Other useful info, the measure of a right angle is 90 degrees, that of a straight angle is 180 degrees and that of a complete, whole, angle is 360 degrees. Solution 2 Let's draw a line that is parallel to the base of the triangle and touches the opposite vertex as shown in the figure in the following shown on screen. The parallel line allows us obtain two pairs of alternate interior angles, shown by the letters x and y. Therefore, since the three angles on the top part of the figure form a straight angle, we have the following as shown on screen. Since the angles x and y correspond to the other two interior angles of the triangle, we obtain the same relation for the sum of the interior angles of a triangle as well. Therefore, the initial supposition is proven, that is all for lesson 9.3.5, to continue this tutorial please watch, 9.3.6, rejecting a supposition by counterexample. Thank you for watching, make sure to like and subscribe to keep up to date with new videos. For more information, calculators, and tutorials, please visit www.icalculator.info.